Hey folks, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, last week we talked about out calibers. Today I want to talk about bullet selection. I don't care if we're talking about the bullet that you buy that's in your factory ammo or the bullet you buy to do your own hand loads. Elk are tough, just durable, sturdy animals that you need a super high quality bullet if you're gonna be a consistently effective elk hunter. What you see in front of me here are three elk bullets that I use a lot. Each of them are going to be extremely lethal on elk. They're very accurate, they have great expansion control, and they have great weight retention. The, the design of the bullet drives accuracy front to back, tip to tail. You've got to have quality product that's the, the foundation of the bullet. And when you're manufacturing that, you have to have no tolerance for inconsistencies. Consistency is absolutely a must for accuracy. But some bullets, some calibers, some rifles have a better, smoother match than maybe the same rifle with a different grain bullet. Figure out what works best in your rifle to be accurate. When we're talking about proper expansion, we're talking about the jackets, the cores, and the bonding process that put that bullet together. So there, there's a lot of pieces that go into expansion. How the bullet's made, what components it's made out of, how far the shot will be. Weight retention is a function of the core the bonding process, and how you construct all that together. With accuracy being equal, the bullet with controlled expansion and retains the greatest percentage of total weight is gonna be the most lethal bullet. Bullet weight plays a pretty big factor, especially when we're talking about lighter calibers. I'd rather have a 308 loaded heavy than a 300 Win Mag loaded with 150 grains. In general, the heavier the game, the heavier the bullet you want to use, as long as you can keep accuracy to where it needs to be at your hunting ranges. There is no substitute for accuracy, which is for me, in my hunting distances, I know, because I practice a lot, I know how, what distance and how far out there I'm accurate. When I get behind that scope, I either have the feeling of, I got this. If I don't have that feeling of, I got this, then I don't shoot. I, I like to make sure that whatever range I'm shooting elk at, my velocity is gonna be over 1,800 feet per second, and my energy is gonna be over 1,250 foot pounds. And that's for elk. And that's just my preference. I'm not saying there's an absolute science to it. There's not a chart that says, oh, this won't work or that, that will work. I would say the partition became the gold standard of elk bullets. It, it very often is the bullet that other bullets get measured by. It's a dual core bullet, and you can see that. That's what allows for this controlled expansion and this great weight retention in, in the partition. Every bit of kinetic energy that is in that bullet usually gets absorbed by that animal. When you look at the Acubon, you know, the polymer tip is not only great for accuracy, but it starts this controlled expansion. A really sleek design is going to result in a high ballistic coefficient. The Acubon is known to be uh, a favorite of many rifles. We go over here to the E-tip, and the E-tip has a polymer tip, and it starts the controlled expansion process right away. It's a lead-free, one-piece bullet, and you see what the weight retention is there. The odds are you're gonna be somewhere in the 98% weight retention on that bullet. When it comes to hunting elk, shoot until they're on the ground. Use the highest quality bullet you can. 
Use the most durable, sturdy bullet you can and the most accurate bullet you can. And I think what I've shown you here, whether you, again, and whether you buy them in factory ammo or whether you buy them for your own hand loads, the Acubon, the Partition, and the E-Tip are serious elk medicine. Thanks for watching.